First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. Unbelievably painful. Get a respirator. I gotta go get some air. Woo! Okay, so I'm about ready to paint this uh, wall, and I'm using a new product that I have not used before. Uh, I'm gonna check it out, see how she works. So typically, uh, when you're painting a wall, you want to look for things that are good for floors. If it's strong enough for floors. It's typically pretty good for climbing walls. We'll try this out. When you start, do not start right on a T-nut. So you wanna kinda dab, and then we can roll. That way you're not getting all that loaded paint right down into the T-nut. So I think it turned out pretty good. The first coat's on. I'm gonna sand it down and do another coat. I want this slick. I want it to be really slick. But right now, I'm gonna turn my attention to the base. So the base on this wall is gonna be made out of four by four posts. They'll be running along the floor. And uh, it needs to be super strong. So I will be gluing everything right here. And I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's a work of art. How's that beard looking today? So it is now another day, hence t-shirt change. So all of the parts are finished now and it's basically just assembly from this point. We have our kicker done, we have our main wall done, we have these beautiful pieces that are sitting outside uh, that are gonna be these side braces. It looks fantastic, we have the cross piece done, painted. So now all we gotta do is put things together. We're gonna go ahead and put the hinges on the kicker and the main board and I'll show you kind of how I do that. And then after that's done, we'll bring in the side braces and start setting things up. Now I still need to figure out how I'm going to do the raising mechanism. This is gonna be completely different than what I've done before. The only hesitation that I have is because how much money do I want to dump into this project? I'm just sitting here in Utah and yeah, that kind of doesn't, pay very well. So I need to make some money. I need to make sure that I can sell this to recoup all of the funds that I've put into it and hopefully make a little bit of money at the same time. Man, that actually really does look nice. Okay, so we got this now put together. If you see, I laid my main board face up and now I have my kicker face down. So one way that you can do it is you can just add these 
just like so and split the difference here. And you've seen that I already marked out my kicker. So it's gonna be really simple. All I gotta do is take these hinges, screw them into the kicker where they're gonna be lined up so these bend properly and then I'll attach it to the main frame and then unfold it and lift it up, which will be the challenge. <sighs> Silly me. I put these hinges on, I set them up so they will be completely flush. There's nothing that should be pu pushing out past the climbing surface. So you're not gonna be able to step on the hinges for a climbing hold. Uh, you're not gonna be able to go past 90 degrees either, or not very far past 90 degrees. And that's okay, we don't need to. But that means that I can't add the hinges the easy way. So I just got some spacers here to hold this up at a 90 degree angle. It's still super easy. Now all I gotta do is go through and put the other screws on. And this is really the exciting part because it's starting to come together. Up till this point, you're just making parts, right? Now, we're making an, we're putting the assembly together. Oh my, it's late and I need to move the wall back a little bit and I don't have wheels on it yet. I want to build wheels, but I don't have them yet. And the only thing that I have is water bottles. <laughs> Now that this climbing wall is done, let me show you some of the things about it and why I think it is the best home climbing wall that I have ever made. Loosen up your safety strap, and then with a flick of the switch, it adjusts to any angle that you want. Yeah, that's pretty steep. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say any angle that you want because it doesn't go all the way vertical. It still overhangs at about probably 25 degrees is the most vertical that it will stand, this model. This has adjustable safety straps. And these are just safety straps, they are not how you adjust it. By the flick of a switch, it's adjustable. And the main board is eight feet tall, but it sits on a 16 inch kicker. And this is gonna give you a lot of blank space, a lot of canvas at the optimal room size. Well that's it for this video. I really hope that you liked it. 
Please give me that thumbs up if you have it. Let's me know that uh, it was of value to you. Also comment down below. And now it is time for me to get on to making some climbing holds. So if you want to see that, stick around, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time right here on Climber Dad.